Quality type food practice and exercise. I'm confident in I, I knew I was a good shooter. I just forgot about extra shooting. Uh, I was just focused on getting on top and just trying to, trying to get a win. So are you waving your arms when you're running back off you after hitting a three and stuff? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to learn to just be myself out there. At first, I was just more quiet, but now I'm just having fun. I mean, we love basketball, so might as well express our emotions. Jay, Jay, just, Jay just called this a uh, Kyle Guy-esque performance. Uh, high compliment from a guy who's so good for this program. Do uh, you think you can be that kind of influencer on this team? I'll try to do my best. I don't know if I can go that high. I mean, Kyle was an amazing shooter and, and player. Just try to do my best to get a win. What are the emotions kind of in the locker room when you come back so far and take the lead and then kind of can't close the deal in the final minutes? Uh, we just, uh, we, were, we, were, we came into this game thinking that it was going to be a tough one, thinking that it would be a great team to challenge us. And, and so therefore the shift uh, shifted from focusing on them to focusing on us. And unfortunately we weren't ready from the beginning and that's what got us. I think you said after some of the early road games that you never played in an environment like that. Now that you've kind of built up a few of this when you come into a place like this, is it less less of a shot? Yeah, to it's play definitely in this environment? less of a shot. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's a hoop in the basket. So. What do you take away from this game, from your performance uh, going forward? Uh, personally, not happy with how I came out uh, at the beginning of the game. I let down my guard too often on defense, and I believe that's why it got us. This isn't a criticism, but it looked like in the last couple of minutes there were some times you might have been able to pull the trigger. It would have made, was, was there just was it good enough of a shot to take it? Or? Uh, down that stretch was I was focusing on getting the right shot, and I believe the other team started to realize my capability from the arc. Therefore, I was just trying to get my teammate involved and, and create a better shot than just a quick trigger from three. What can you say about the way that um, your NCAA chances, tournament chances, you guys are kind of falling off the radar, so to speak, a little bit as far as the tournament look. What can you say about the way you guys are, are looking to finish? Uh, we want to we wanna win. I mean, um, I'm more than determined to, to come and make, get a back-to-back and bring it back to UVA. I mean, at the end of the day, I've been an underdog, and so this is actually a place of comfort for me, where coming from under, the only way is up, so it feels, personally, I don't, I don't feel that much of a pressure in that regard, but we are, we are confident in ourselves, we know our capabilities, and we're just going to keep pounding. How much did you guys talk about last year? Last year, just last year, even though, you know, you guys were able to finish as with the championship, do you draw anything from, from last year, or do you say that's in the past? Nope, that's in the past. Don't, don't draw anything. This is how we got a championship. Let's do it again. It's all about the new team. And, but the principles are the same. The pillars are the same one. The, the mentality is the same one. The program had success in the past. So there's no changing in the mentality that we're approaching each game, each practice, each day. Tony, you was pretty happy with the way you guys were screaming for you today. Uh, what did it look like out there? Come on, man. Let's 
guys? Oh yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be wouldn't be open if it wasn't for my team. It's, it's a team effort every time. Like it's never it's a team sport at the end of the day. So it's never an individual effort. I don't I would I would be much happier with four point, two rebounds, two steals, and a win. I don't even know my stats. Given that, I mean, your, I'll tell you, your stats were better than the Wake game. Did you feel better in this game than the Wake game going against Wake in terms of your shooting flow and your confidence and all that? It's, I, I usually focus on defense, and, and that's why I'm not uh, so happy with, with my performance in offense. I mean, offense just comes. Defense is what wins games. So I'm not happy with my performance overall. Sound like a coach now. You get that from your coach, I guess. Yeah. yeah, that's why I decided to come to this program. So. What did the coach tell you guys after the game? Excuse me? What was his message to you guys after the game? Uh, at the beginning? After the, the game. After the game. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. At the beginning of the game, we got in, in here thinking of trying to become a better team, coming out as a... a uh, improved team from last game, from last practice. So, coach, even if we had a slow start, he was he was pretty pretty happy with with the way we fought. He just he saw improvement, and yeah, just keep our head high.